All right, welcome back. I'm Chris Baseford. Uh, we're going to dig in a little bit more on the new Melodyne 4. Um, got this same session that we've been using for the other videos. And I got a couple comments from the other videos saying they had a hard time hearing the difference between the tuned and the untuned. This particular scenario, the singer has pretty good pitch, so it's going to be a little bit subtle. But uh, I'll try to highlight a couple points uh, on this next track uh, while we're doing it. That way you can kind of really zone in and listen for it. So I've got Melodyne loaded on the chorus and the chorus double. Nice new feature in Melodyne 4. You can have, uh, you can see them both in the browser here. We're going to capture them. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love. Keep bleeding, keep, keep bleeding love. Okay, so the cool thing about this, this particular scenario, is you're going to be able to hear the uh, the difference between the tuned and the untuned a little bit more um, while we're focusing in on one of the new features of Melodyne 4 here. So let's just play this really quickly. You can see down here, there's some notes that are look like they've been tracked a little bit out of range. I'm going to show you how to fix that really quickly. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. Okay, so you can see that it's tracking those an octave down. Um, that's obviously not where those notes are. So if you flip it into the uh, note assignment mode, you can correct these and put them where they're supposed to go. Keep. Okay. All right. So now we're in the proper range. Keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding. I keep, keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding. There's another one that's a little, little out. Where is that guy? All right, so I'm going to go through and chop this up, and I'm going to do the same thing with the double, and we will be right back. And that way, uh, you've already seen this part, so we'll just jump ahead a little bit here. Okay, so I've just gone through, and I've chopped up all the blobs into the right notes that I want, so that way I can edit it properly. I've gone through, and I've uh, tuned the lead, and I'm going to play that really quickly for you, because it's a little bit easier to hear the tuning on this one, because there was a few notes that were a little bit sharp. So I'm going to play the untuned. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Okay, so here some of those notes are sharp. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Now tuned. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. So now we're a lot more in tune there. So that's maybe a little bit easier to hear. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. All right, so there, hopefully that you can hear the tuning a little bit better than when we were doing the uh, the pre-chorus in the previous video. Um, so now I'm going to show you one of the really cool features of Melodyne 4 that um, is a big, big improvement over the previous versions. Makes life a lot easier. So I've got the chorus, and I've also got a chorus double here. Here's the chorus double. I've gone through and I've chopped up the blobs. Uh, but I haven't tuned anything yet because I want to tune this, not necessarily to be perfectly in tune, I want to tune it against the lead. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Okay, so here's the, here's the double, that's the double that we're hearing, okay? Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love, keep... Okay, so I'm going to chop that, I'm just going to chop a few things here, just so I have some control. All right. So one of the really cool things about uh, Melodyne 4 is this button up here shows you all the different uh, ver uh, tracks that have Melodyne in your session. So I've got the pre-chorus that we were doing in the earlier video. I've got a chorus. I've got a chorus double. When it's highlighted here, it shows you which track you're editing. And then in the little gray box here, or little gray icon, you can click those and it will also show you kind of superimposed underneath um, the whatever the Melodyne track for that is. And those are your corrected notes. So if we just back up here a little bit. Keep bleeding, I keep. So you can see visually um, keep. 
the notes of the orange notes of the chorus double over top of the corrected chorus that we've already done. So not only can you see the pitch, but you can also see the note, the length of the notes, and that's going to be very beneficial for uh, when we go through to time. But I'm going to play them both together right now, and that way you can kind of hear them rubbing. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep. Okay, so we're going to go through the, and tune this. And one of the really cool things about being able to see this is sometimes what's perfectly in tune doesn't necessarily always sound best. So you can start there and then basically adjust the tuning so that way it sounds best with what you're trying to get it onto. So with this, you can do a little bit more of a, a kind of a, of a blunt tune just to get it started. You can just do it visually and then we'll go back and listen to it. Okay, so I'm just double clicking on these to snap them onto a, onto the uh, the notes. And then we'll go through and adjust them in a little bit here. Oops. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Keep, keep bleeding. Much better already. So I'm going to bypass this so you can hear it. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. This is with Melodyne on. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Okay, so there's a few things there that I'm hearing that are still rubbing. Keep bleeding, I keep okay, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Keep bleeding, I keep. And this part here, the one doesn't go. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. Okay, so we're not going to do that. We're actually going to deal with that a little bit differently. Uh, we'll get to that in a, in a second. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Bleeding, love. Bleeding, love. Bleeding, love. Bleeding, bleeding love. Keep bleeding. So here, we'll play it one more time, corrected, uncorrected, here's corrected. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Uncorrected. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. So much better, and it's so much easier to, to be able to just do this while looking at the other, uh, um, the other corrected pitch as well. So use that, huge benefit. The next video, I'm going to show you how to correct the timing so that way we can line them up and make it even tighter. All right, so uh, keep your eye out for the next video. All right.